Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RV, and we're at the 2021 Tampa RV Show. Now, with so many RVs out here, people are often confused regarding high-end motorhomes. Right, so in this video today, we're gonna show you some of the distinctions, the differences between the high-end custom coaches and the high-end production coaches. All right, so the first thing is gonna be the structural integrity of a high-end coach versus a high-end production coach, or I should say custom coach versus production coach. So behind us, there is a Prevost shell, and on most of these production, these custom coaches, that is where they're gonna do their, their bus conversion. So a couple of things regarding what's going on behind us. Right, so you're gonna see, we're gonna show you, this Prevost is tilted completely to the right, all the slides are open, and everything's functional. Why does that happen? Because Prevost shell, it's a commercial bus shell, mm -hmm. right? It's a commercial chassis, so it's made to travel millions of miles. Take a beating. And Rockstar tour bus, your, your uh, charter buses. Mm -hmm. It's made to the doors to open back and forth thousands and thousands of times. That's why it is designed that way. Mm -hmm. Now, on the flip side, that's why the shell itself is upwards of $800,000. But if you're buying a coach like this, you can expect a stainless steel monocoque chassis. It means it's always one piece, structurally sound, much safer than what your fiberglass coaches are out there. And just a couple of other things. If you look here, you can look at the bay doors. So these bay doors are absolutely enormous. Ooh, now, you can look at the size. You could see the structure in here how so, everything is reinforced. These are, you know, to pack luggage for all those trips and things that buses take. You know, think about it, back to when you would just take trips. They're huge. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> yeah, sit inside You that. could live in here. So MJ's about 5'9", and you can see the difference in size. Want some water? <laughs> now, what this is allowed, this allows uh, you, the oh. consumer, Leave to be able to fully customize those bays any way you want. You can put barbecuers in there, huge slide out trays, mm -hmm. TVs, whatever mm -hmm. you want, you can do it. You can have it all for storage. All right, so right now, this is a 2021 Millennium Coach. Now, couple things. I'm 5'9", as he said, and I want you to see where the slide is. How many of you slammed your head on your slides before? I know I have, that's one thing. The bay doors, again, I'm 5'9", look at the height of these doors. Everything is just on a larger scale. Not only the height, look at look at the bracing and the structure mm -hmm, of it. Like, mm -hmm. look at this compared to what you're gonna see in a and production compared coach. Compared to what, yes. So then you have your wet bay. This area is, is nicer than our house. All right, look how clean it is. It's just, it's even detailed in here. Everything's neat. There's no wires and hoses all over the place. Everything is clean and tight. If you look at the plumbing here, you have a system where if something goes wrong, you can actually cut off the uh, water to whatever area you want. Uh, the pumps in here are huge. It's just another step up in, uh, in quality yep. and durability. All right, next we're gonna talk about your generator, your onboard generator. What you're seeing here is a 20,000 kW PowerTech generator. Now look at the size of this thing. This will power your coach. It will power your friend's coach, your friend's coach, your friend's coach. So, so this will actually power our house. We, we have a, a 6,000 watt generator that powers most of our house when we lose power. This will power our house. Couple of our houses. Couple of our houses. And also, <laughs> you know, this power tech, it's been around forever. You're gonna get thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of use of this. It is just another level up. All right, so let's talk about the slides now. Some differences and similarities. Real quick, we have uh, flush mount slides, which you are gonna get on your higher end production coaches. These are air sealed, which you will not get. Also, they're stainless steel. These things, again, are built to last. You're just not gonna get this anywhere else. And then one other thing you would notice, and I know the King Airs are starting to do this, but look at the size of the windows on here compared to what we're gonna show you a little bit later. They're enormous windows are going to let in a lot of light. Again, those bus, they're bus windows. Exactly. Let's talk about the hydronic heating system now. I don't even know what aqua hot this is, but I just want you to see the size of it, how large it really is. And then we're going to compare that and what we see some higher end uh, production coaches moving over to this other bay. Here are all your electronics. These are the, the brain of the coach. I mean, there's just a lot of electronics that go into these high end coaches, which you're, you're definitely not going to see this in a higher end production coach. Let's move around to the electric bay. I just wanna show you one more thing. So remember, when we showed you the Prevost shell with those huge uh, storage bays, here's some things you can do. You have literally a uh, barbecuer 
that will slide right into your storage bay. One other thing, and this is a big pet peeve for me, is the wiring. When you start getting into these higher end coaches, look at this wiring. This, to me, is a work of art. You have all the cutoffs on every different section. Everything is clearly labeled. It's neat. Here is your buddy plug. Remember we told you on that generator, you could hook everything up. You could hook up another RV. Here's a 50 amp buddy plug. Everything, again, is clearly label labeled. All your breakers, there's no confusion. There's no rat's nest of wiring. Again, when you're at this price, this is the kind of luxury and detail, detail you're gonna get. If you're an OCD person, this is, this is a dream for you. So then moving in inside, we've talked about this in a number of videos, but the huge differences you're getting, number one is the sound deadening. All right, you're not hearing anything outside no. when you're in one of these. Along those lines also is the insulation factor. So in cold and hot, you're not gonna feel that. It's, it's the regulation is gonna be there. Yeah, and then even stepping up even more, the interior fixtures. So you're getting mm -hmm. all high-end Viking and Mealy and Sub-Zero. The materials they're using for the woodwork, for the uh, countertops, it's just above and beyond. The, the attention to detail is outstanding. One other thing is when you're going down the road and when you're in one of these Prevo conversions, you're not gonna hear squeaks. You're not gonna feel like you're getting rattled around. Now we have been in high-end production coaches test driving you hear squeaks and we're not talking right. $200,000, we're talking 800 plus thousand dollar coaches, which is by no means chump change, but you're still gonna hear those squeaks. And another thing too, in terms of the interior, on the production coaches, you get to pick from a couple colors or a couple you know, different floor plans. When you're over here in the custom coaches, it's just free reign. You are picking what you want. Well, almost. As long as it almost. can fit. It almost right. like it fit it with can safely fit in, in within, the box. Right. Yeah, so your choice is on everything. And then the same thing with the exterior paintwork. Mm -hmm. the, the paint jobs on these coaches are just gonna be to another level. You know, some of these uh, converters, they have $150,000 mm -hmm. custom paint jobs. That take weeks weeks to now that sounds like I say that a production coach will not get you a nice paint job mm -hmm. it's just this is this is much more detailed much more to your catering So we're on the inside of a really high-end production motorhome. We couldn't get on the King Air, so don't leave it in the comments that, oh, New Mars, the it's King Air, It's not a comparison. We know that. But this is uh, really just below the King Air. This is a 2021 Essex. This retails for about $860,000. It's a beautiful coach. Mm -hmm. We own New Mars. We are a big we fan of New Mars. But there are some major differences between this and when we were on our Prevost. So yes. why don't you name some of those things? So a couple things. The ceiling, just a you know different fabric. You'll look at the wood, the detail, there is detail here, but it's different. It's just not as exquisite, I guess you could say. The plain lighting, if you look, so if you look at this lighting, this is the same puck oh, lighting that we have, that we have yes. in our Bay Star. Yes. And it's that way because it's a production coach and it's just cheaper to put that same lighting. Not that it doesn't work, but it is what it is. Like MJ said about the ceiling, if you see on the ceiling trays, inside the trays, they use a different kind of fabric. But then if you go on the ceiling, this is the same vinyl that's on our Bay Star. Same thing. Again, guys, we're not smashing production motorhomes. We have one. But again, these are just little differences that you'll see. So the cabinets are really nice. They have the hidden hinges, which are beautiful. There's a light out there. I just noticed that. In terms of wallpaper, you know, in, in the custom coaches, we had mentioned the ceiling, this beautiful material that's used. That's gonna be everywhere. Here, you're gonna have kind of like a basic wallpaper, really. Through, and that's throughout the coach, except for this, you know, above the uh, the lights here. So in the kitchen area, you know, you have residential appliances. There's GE, it's a Whirlpool fridge, but you're not getting those higher end brands like Viking and, you know, your Sub-Zeros and things like this. What's really cool over here, I just wanna make a little point of showing this, is the sink is in the shape of the, the new Mar. We think that's look, what it but is. But look, no, yeah, you, no it it's definitely on purpose. That's really cool. All right, moving into the bathroom, again, beautiful you have your led lights here but again the wallpaper is all the same as we mentioned up front also something izzy brought up is you can push on the wall and it moves 
that's not gonna happen in a custom coach. All right, in the bedroom, absolutely beautiful. You have all your control panels in here, nice solid wood cabinets. They're really nice. Again, it's just not the same detail, but this is absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Very well laid out, king size bed. You have a window with some shades onto the passenger side. Let's go in the bathroom. Really nice, uh, somewhat modern bathroom. Over on the passenger side, you have the LED accent mirror. You have, uh, it seems like a, a glass or tile backsplash, hard surface countertops. I like the style of bowl, really cool. And you have an, an accent cabinet there. I do want to point out the shower here. Tiled out shower, gets the job done, good size. I like how the ceilings are vaulted here. This is shower. a really good job. Beautiful. You also have a washer dryer in here as well as your egress door to my and if you wanna right side. Watch yourself shower. So we open. are in the back here in the uh, walk-in closet and I want you to see something and this is my pet peeve. This is an 800 plus thousand dollar coach. Can you see Look it? at this. <laughs> this is where I have, like this is a problem. I, I This is unacceptable to me at something at this price. You will not see this on a custom coach. And we're gonna go outside, we're gonna go into the bays and we're gonna just look around and see what we find in there. All right, so on the exterior now, we're looking at the slides. Now, before we showed the height, right? So you can see the difference, I'm 5'9". The slide on the custom coach with the Millennium was way up here. Here's the bottom, so I'm gonna- It was bet. actually above you. Yes. You were standing under yep. it. Yep, so I'm gonna bang my head on this again, which I have done many times. The bay doors, also, I was, if you remember, I was leaning like this. Again, because you, you're dealing with a bus. It's a bus, so these are way lower. Well, Just I do find difference. something that's pretty cool here. Yeah. If you look at the door, if you could close that yeah. door, MJ, okay. you could see how the door kind of moves up and down. Bring it back out again, up and down yeah. on the hinge. Yeah. So it misses, I want you to see on the slide here, go ahead. It kind of misses this slide perfectly. Mm -hmm. They're heavy, but they're not. If you remember, we looked at, showed you the inside of the Prevo door. Look what's supporting this door compared to what was supporting the Prevo door. And then the other thing I would like to show you is, again, not crazy about this. Look at the wiring. And we're gonna show you a little bit more of this in other bays. I'm warning you, Izzy's pissed. I'm not pissed. I'm just like, I want, <laughs> listen, I want to con educate the consumers because no, they may not look at this. Yes. So we're on a back bay here. Number one, if you remember, MJ was sitting inside the bay. This is a lot smaller. So we, Which again, is expected. I want you to see, look up here. I want you to see the wiring. Okay, look at the difference. Look at this, all right? $800,000 coach, look to the left. Look at all the wiring that you see. There is a big difference. Even look at, I don't know what these modules modules are, but they're not even straight, right? When, you, when we looked in that Prevo, everything was perfect, aesthetically, visually perfect. Not that this is bad, it's just different. I want you to look at the slides a little bit more. Now, this is a fiberglass slide. You can see the caulking, the caulk work, okay? Because it's not stainless steel, everything is screwed in. Fiberglass slide, not that it's bad, it works. But look at the seals. These are rubber seals, it's exactly the same as what we have in our base door. Now, the advantage is that there's not much that's gonna go wrong with this, it works. But you're not gonna have that tight seal like you do on the Matic seal. And these are all fiberglass. Now, this is one of the better slide mechanisms out there. It's that Newmar slide mechanism, which we've talked about in a video. We'll link it above. Flush mount, it's just these slides are not as big and they're fiberglass slides. I just wanna talk about, a little bit about the construction on, at least on the new Mars. This is a, uh, I believe it's a K3 chassis, Spartan K3 chassis. Then they build their house on top. This is your chassis, house put on top. Aluminum studs, hung fiberglass wall. So this is fiberglass, it's, it's well made, it will last you a long time, but I do wanna show you some things here. Here's the caulking, All right? Now if you look over here, it's just a little, a little bit sloppy. Not that it doesn't work, it works, it's sealing, but you're not gonna see this on a Prevo. There's not, there's it, that's be just not gonna happen. Attention to detail that it, it wouldn't be allowed to, to go out like that. No. <laughs> now, this has your full body BASF, the masterpiece finish. You have the slides are painted. Well, actually, the rear, uh, it is painted. The slides are painted. 360 cameras on this all gets the job done. You have a steerable tag axle. This will tow 20,000 pounds, just like the Prevo will. Let's move over to the back. Now, in the rear, 
K3605 Cummins motor in here, 605 horsepower, I believe it's 1,805 pounds of torque. Don't, don't be, I guess, mesmerized by the, the big number. It's really what is, goes down to the ground. All right, I just came out on this and I, I, I gotta call them out on this. So if you look, there's a tent here. I'm not gonna name the dealership that's doing this, but here's the tent with the strap and look what is holding it. They ran it through the wheel. Oh my God. I mean, you could get a sandbag whatever it's your, it's your, just keep in mind this is for sale so <laughs> that would be a definite uh, problem for me so look over here on this molding you can see here i'm already seeing Look. yeah and you could see over here there's a, a little crack in the not a crack but there's space in the molding and we're not even looking too hard i'm sure if we looked hard we would we would find again we're not bashing newmar not we're just all. pointing out those differences between this and a custom listen if newmar were to give her give us an essex we would certainly take it. <laughs> this is a fine, fine Beautiful. coach. So something else that really contributes to the quality difference and the things that we see is the amount of units that are being pushed out. So the custom coaches are really a small percentage of what is being put out by production coaches. Yeah, so on a, on a custom coach, you may have, they may do 20, 25 coaches a year. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. talking a six to eight month from when you order to when you actually get it. A production coach, we've been to some of these factories and they're moving. Now it may take them three weeks to make a coach and that that's really more high end. Right. Some of them it's a little longer. So just keep in mind that that's going to affect how much attention to detail they can mm -hmm. have just because they're getting these coaches out and they're selling way more of them. And this sucks. So in case you haven't noticed, we are back in New Jersey and there is snow on the ground. <laughs> and there's snow coming down. <laughs> so in the comments below, let us know what you think. If you had the choice, would you go for a high-end custom coach or a high-end production coach? There's advantages and disadvantages to both. Biggest disadvantage to the custom is the cost. Right. Or would you get a used custom coach? or a used production coach. You got four choices. What is it going to be? Or would be? you get used everything, or right? Would you, or, or would you get a fifth wheel? Because the used <laughs> production is going to be less also. So put it in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed that video. For myself and MJ in snowy New Jersey, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.